Open Style Advanced is a single user product. Use by more than one person may pose a health risk and performance questions and voids the warranty. Before using your pump in style for the first time, disassemble and boil all the parts that come into contact with the breast and breast milk. Breast shields, connectors, valves, membranes, bottles, and caps. Before cleaning, be sure to remove the yellow valve from the breast shield connector and separate the white membrane from the yellow valve. Inspect the white membranes for holes, tears, or warping and the yellow valves for cracks or chips. Any damage to these parts could compromise the performance of your pumping session and suction. If you notice any damage, replace parts immediately. Sanitize the parts in boiling water for 10 minutes. Refer to the cleaning and care section in your breast pump instructions for use for detailed information. Before assembling your pump in style advanced, be sure that all parts air dry after cleaning. Wash your hands before touching breasts or containers and avoid touching the inside of containers or lids. Begin assembly by securely attaching the breast shield to the connector. Then, attach the white membranes onto the yellow valves. The white membrane must lay flat against the yellow valve. Push the assembled yellow valves and white membranes onto the breast shield connectors and screw the bottles onto the breast shield connectors. Insert the hard yellow adapter ends of the tubing into the openings in the breast shield connectors. Insert the other ends of the tubing into the ports on the face plate of the pump. To remove the tubing, pull the tubing straight out of the tubing ports. Do not wiggle or pull the tubing at an angle. If you are single pumping, insert the port cap into the unused port on the face plate. If you are double pumping, Push the port cap onto the post at the bottom of the faceplate. Plug the metal fitting on the end of the Medela power source into the power jack on the breast pump. Plug the adapter into a standard electrical outlet if you are using the AC power adapter. Center the assembled breast shields over your nipples. To begin pumping, turn the dial clockwise from the off position. Pump in style advance will start in the stimulation phase. Adjust the speed and vacuum to your comfort level while pumping by turning the dial to a speed that is most comfortable for you. After two minutes, the stimulation phase will automatically change to the expression phase. If you let down, this is when your milk starts to flow. Sooner than two minutes, you may pump more efficiently by pressing the let down button at that time to switch to the expression phase. If letdown does not happen after two consecutive stimulation phases, take a break, relax, and try again in 15 to 30 minutes. Once in the expression phase, set your maximum comfort vacuum. This is the highest vacuum you can use and still feel comfortable. To find your maximum comfort vacuum during the expression phase, increase speed and vacuum using the dial until pumping feels slightly uncomfortable but not painful and then decrease slightly. Remember, do not tilt or overfill the bottles while pumping and be careful not to kink tubing while pumping. Once you are finished pumping, unplug the tubing from the back of the breast shield before removing the bottles from the connectors, allowing the pump to continue to run with only the tubing attached for one to two minutes will allow any condensation that may have formed in the tubing to dry. After each pump session, disassemble, separate, and rinse all parts that come in contact with breast milk in cool water to remove breast milk residue. Then fill the sink with warm soapy water, you may use a mild dish detergent, and allow parts to soak for five minutes. Wash all separated parts with a clean dish cloth or a soft brush, and rinse in clear water. Allow parts to air dry in a clean area and store dry parts when not in use. Use a clean damp cloth to wipe the bag and face plate of the breast pump after each use. In addition to cleaning, you can sanitize by using Medela's Quick Clean Micro Steam Bags for daily breast pump kit disinfecting. Inspect tubing after each use for condensation or milk. Unless dirty, Tubing does not need to be washed after each use. 
To eliminate condensation after you have finished pumping, continue running the pump with tubing attached for another one to two minutes or until dry. Milk in tubing common causes heavy letdown, leaning forward or lying down while pumping, improper cleaning of valve and membrane, damaged membrane, overfilling bottles while pumping. If milk gets into the tubing, turn off the pump and unplug the transformer from the unit and wall outlet. Remove the tubing from the pump and breast shield connector. Rinse the tubing in cold clear water and wash in warm soapy water. Then rinse the tubing in cold clear water and hang to air dry. Detach the faceplate using the thumb tab on the right side. If liquid is behind the faceplate, you must clean. Wash the faceplate in warm soapy water, then rinse in cold, clear water. Use a damp, clean cloth to wipe the pump diaphragm. Let faceplate and diaphragm completely dry. Reattach the faceplate by holding the back of the pump with one hand and pushing on the faceplate until it snaps into place. The faceplate needs to snap securely at all three connection points to ensure adequate vacuum and optimum pump performance. If tubing is still wet, attach to pump and run for one to two minutes or until dry. Use a damp, not wet cloth to wipe the bag when necessary. Do not immerse the motor unit or any part of the pump bag in water. If you need assistance with your assembly of your Pump and Style Advanced, please call Medela Customer Service at 1-800-435-8316 or email customer.service at medela.com. If you should need to replace parts, visit www.shopmedela.com.